Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a uh, flashlight uh, collectible item and what I mean by that is a uh, flashlight where the player has to find the ability before he can use it. Um, I'll give you a demonstration in this video. So, the player has the flashlight in front of him but he tries to basically use it in his inventory but he doesn't have it yet. Walks up to it, picks it up and then there you go, you can see that he has the ability that you can toggle on and off. Okay guys, before I start my video tutorial, um, I'd like to give a big shout out to Mr. Fantastic Ghost and Ben Ormstad. Um, the video I've created um, is actually based on a couple of their tutorials. Um, these guys know the stuff, so it's worth checking them out. Okay, so we'll begin by going into the first person example map and I've changed the light settings so it's a bit darker so that you're able to see the flashlight a bit better. Okay, so we'll go into it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into settings, project settings, and then go under input. And then if you go to action mappings, uh, click the node so it drops down and you see the standard here is you've got jump and fire. Uh, we want to basically create an input for a flashlight. So if you click the plus sign and change that to flashlight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign it to the F key for, uh, for simplicity. So if you go into keyboard inputs, keyboard, and then I'm going to hit control and S to save. Okay, so once we've done that, uh, we need to go into the first person blueprint and we need to create the flashlight itself. So um, if you go into your blueprints, first person character, and then you'll see the event graph of all the various uh, input functions um, and even for the uh, projectile which comes out of the gun. But we're not going to bother with that, we're going to be working in empty space. So first things first, uh, we want to actually add the uh, flashlight um, to the character and position it so it looks like a torch, basically. So we'll go into add components and we're going to add a spotlight and we'll rename that flashlight. Uh, what we might want to do is attach it to the first person camera as well. Uh, that way it follows the camera. Um, we'll then move it into position. Um, with it being the first person character, you're better off just pushing it slightly out of the camera so the the torch goes over the gun, the light effectively doesn't bounce off the gun and causes um, reflection back into the camera. So once that's been set up, um, you go into different settings so you can make it as intense, I'm just going to double it to 10,000 to make it brighter, can increase the range on it in under an attenuation radius and I'm just going to bring the inner cam down. I'm not going to go too nuts with the details because it just basically needs to do a job which is light up an area. I'm not going to fill with the settings so that it's perfect. I just want it to be as basic as possible just for the tutorial sake. Um, so what I want to also do with that is uh, I want to make sure that the flashlight isn't visible by default um, when the game starts. So to do that I'm just going to go into rendering and I'm going to uncheck visible and then I'm just going to hit compile just so everything's been saved. Uh, ready. I'll hit save as well. So the next part is we need to uh, create the ability uh, where the player presses the F key and it will basically create the, the torch in front of him. So uh, first things first, uh, I'm going to type in flashlight and you'll see under the uh, action events under input it comes up straight away. Now then Next stage, I'm going to create a flip flop. Basically, a flip flop just defines an on off state. So, in this case, we want it to toggle the visibility of the torch so when the player, press, uh, player presses F, um, it turns it on, and then when you play, press it again, it turns it off. So, next thing you need to do is uh, drag your flashlight in. It will uh, default come in as a getter. And from the flashlight, I'm going to type in toggle and it comes up straight away under rendering toggle, uh, toggle visibility. Now to make this a bit quicker we'll just highlight these control W 
and then you've got your flashlight ability there. That's essentially all it is at this stage. So player presses on, comes on, player presses the button again to turn it off. So I'll just demonstrate that in the uh, in the video. There, you can just see it on the floor. It's, it's not the greatest flashlight, but it'll do for this uh, tutorial sake. Okay, so now that we've created the ability, I'm now gonna move on to the inventory interface. Okay guys, um, and now I'm going to create the uh, inventory interface that we'll be using in the character and for the flashlight prop. Um, so what we need to do is, uh, first I'm going to create a prop into its own folder. So new folder uh, by just right clicking on content and then I'm just going to call it inventory. Um, as soon as that's been done, I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to go into blueprints and I'm going to create a blueprint interface. Uh, for that. I'm just going to call it inventory one. Uh, you can call it whatever you like, but I'm just going to keep it that. Double click on it, and what will happen is um, it will come up with the basically the event graph for the inventory interface. Um, the first thing I do is um, create a function, and I'm going to call it add flashlight. Um, this is what's actually going to be used in the blueprints for the prop uh, with the actual model so that when the player goes up to it, it will register that it's been added to the inventory system. Um, call it that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into inputs and I'm going to create a variable called a string. Now for the string, again, I'm just going to keep it simple, add flashlight. Okay, um, so that's the first part. The second part is to add another function and this one's going to be called simply check inventory. So this is part of the functionality of the blueprint where um, it gets to a stage where the the, the uh, Unreal Engine needs to check whether it's been picked up or not and it uses a simple string to determine if that's been entered and then a boolean to determine whether it's uh, true or false. So under inputs, I'm going to add another string and I'm just going to call it flashlight. Under output, I'm going to add a boolean and I'm going to call it flashlight question mark. Um, as I say, it basically instead of using several variables, you can just use this. It makes it a lot simpler. I'm going to hit compile. I'm going to hit save as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the first person character and I'm going to add this inventory system to the first person character. So if you click on class settings, under add, and then you'll see under the drop down on the right hand side, um, inventory one. Compile that and save. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to go onto the interface itself. Um, as you can see, it's appeared in the left hand menus. So to enter it, we'll just double click it and it will go into the event graph related to that interface. Now, in order to um, create the, we need to create a variable, and this will be a string, and we're gonna call that flashlight. Call it flashlight one, just so it doesn't clash with other names. We're gonna make that into an array, and we're gonna compile that. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it as a getter, drag it into the window. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag it from that node and we're going to search for a contains item. Uh, what this basically does is when it's picked up, um, it comes into the check inventory system message and it basically says, yep, this item contains this. And then it basically processes it into the, the Boolean to say it's true. Once that's been done, compile that, and I'm going to go back into the event graph. Uh, I'm going to drag in my variable again, the flashlight one, and I'm going to call an event add flashlight. I'm going to drag it from the flashlight one and search for add, 
connect it to the executable pin and then basically we have the, the functionality so that when the, the item's picked up um, it will go into there, it will add it to the event tree also we need to connect that node and it will basically register in here that it's been picked up and that it contains, it's been added, it's been, and then it's been contained what we'll do now is while we're here we'll drag it from that and we're going to type it in check inventory which is the function so we're adding this on so that before this ability is used it checks the inventory to see if the flashlight has been picked up so we'll add a branch by uh, holding B and left clicking we'll connect that up just drag this up out of the way so we get a bit more space we'll connect the boolean to there and then we'll put it as true so at the moment I hit compile and minimize that and I play it nothing's happening so what we need to do there is we need to create the item um, which basically allows the player to use that ability so in this case it will be the flashlight prop so that will be co covered in the next part Okay, now we've reached the final part of the tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create the flashlight prop, which is placed within the world. So first thing we need to do is, well, uh, before we go into the blueprints, um, what I've done is I've created a flashlight and another project. So well, I'll be using this just as the uh, default item. Fortunately, the scale's a bit off, but it'll do for what we want it to, you know, for demonstration purposes. So within the uh, folder, um, I'm going to create a blueprint class. Uh, I'm going to choose an actor, and I'm literally going to call it flashlight. Oh, flashlight actor. Because that name's already taken. Sorry, FL actor. So what we need to do is double click on it, and that'll bring you into the viewport. Um, first thing we need to do is we need to add a static mesh which will be the, the prop itself I'm just going to call that a flashlight and then to get the prop in there the quickest way is to click on it go into static mesh on the right hand side and then just use selected asset from content browser now as I said before the scale is a bit off on this one unfortunately so just need to scale it down a bit I'll have to remodel that at some point, but it'll do for now. Okay, so once you've got the the, the static mesh in, uh, you need to add another component which is going to act as the collision. So for this example, that we're going to use a box collision, and I'm just going to change that to collision. Quick compile. So also, I'm going to scale that out a little bit more so that it's, the, it's easy to pick up. I don't want to a collision where you have to be right on top of it to pick it up. We'll make it as large as possible. Hit compile again. So next stage, going to go into the event graph. And we're going to create the functionality so that the, the engine knows that the player is within the, within the collision uh, box and that the, the item can be interacted with. So the first thing you need to do is click on collision, right click, Add collision event for collision. Add on component begin overlap. Select it again. Add event for collision. And then add component end overlap. So from there, we need to get enable input. So when the player enters that, it enables input. And then for the when it ends, when the player leaves the collision box. And we want it to disable input. Now, to do this, it has to communicate with the player controller. And by default, player index is zero. That just means the person, um, which is basically the first player, the only player in the game. Um, so it'll communicate directly to them. So I'll just give a quick demonstration by dragging the actor in. So what will happen is. And minimize that best as I can. Drag the actor into the world. 
I'm just going to put a, a point light in there as well. Just so that it's easy to see. It's a black torch, so I'm going to press play. You can see it there. As you see there, when the player enters the collision, it triggers it off. When the player leaves the uh, collision, it um, disables input instead. So the next part is I'm going to show you how to create it so when the player presses a key, he can effectively pick the item up. So what you're doing there is I'm going to use default ease use a lot in a lot of games um, to pick up items. So I'm going to use input E. Type that in. Now, with the inventory interface, that actually is classed as a different actor or its own entity. So, what we need to do is we need to communicate when in within the collision to another actor by dragging out from another actor. And what we do is we want to call the event, which is add the flashlight. Uh, if you remember, we created the add flashlights in the interface. And then all we do is we connect the executable pin to that and drag off add flashlight, type in destroy active. Now what that'll do is um, player enters the collision, it'll enable the input, and then when they press E to pick up the flashlight, it will add it to the inventory system there on the string, and it'll destroy the active so it doesn't still remain after it's been picked up. So that would just look a bit strange. I'm going to hit compile and then I'm going to demonstrate the blueprint. So I'm pressing that now, nothing's happening. So I've walked up to it, I pressed it, and there you go. You can see that the flashlight ability is there. Okay, guys, uh, that brings us to the end of uh, my tutorial. Um, I hope you find it useful, but if you have any questions uh, about uh, the code that I've used, uh, feel free to post in the comments, and I uh, hope you guys uh, take it easy. Thank you.